All right, folks, so you can see that this is being recorded on December the 30th. So the Christmas theme has passed, but the winter theme is still on. And I'm going to give it a shot with uh, Elliot's Dream. And really, the purpose of this video is just to show everybody, you know, what techniques I use to get um, some fairly high scores. Um, all right, here we go. So we're starting off with Elliot. I always try to see whether I can get to the fruit cake, like actually on top of it, before the Marins come and grab my ideas. And I'm off to the races. So right off the hop, I'm just trying to get my 20 idea chips. Um, I'm trying to maintain a link as well, but it's not as crucial because your scores are not doubled before you deposit your 20 chips. So I've just deposited my 20 chips, and any points I get now are going to be multiplied by two. So the first mare of uh, any course, this one included, is always extremely short, it's very circular, and uh, every single one of them it's possible to get uh, an endless link. And so I'm going to see how long I can get uh, this link to continue. Um, by now I've cleared away most of the enemies, and the enemies in this game Really, the purpose that they serve isn't so much to, you know, defeat you or to harm you in any way, but they slow you down. Or, you know, in the case of trying to go after super high scores, they, they break your link or, uh, you know, throw you off course and, you know, just mess up an opportunity to continue, um, you know, a streak. And so here we are, we've got about 50 seconds left and we're at about just over 200 link. There, I've just shot the last uh, Marin out of here, so you can grab them and para-loop them, and that sort of sends them into a vortex, and they're off the playfield, or you can dash them, drill dash them, and that'll send them flying. Um, if they happen to hit an Itopian while they've been sent flying by you, that's where you get the possibility of creating uh, Meepians, and those are those little tiny uh, mutant uh, beings. But that's not the purpose of this particular run through. So we're at about 15 seconds left, and I'm going to try and get a little cocky and get my link to continue. Oh, and I just lost it. So 362 is what I was able to manage. In theory, I should be able to hit 400 link on this one, although I've never really done it. Um, but there we go. So an excellent run on the first mare is usually 100,000 points or more. And I don't think it's very possible to get much more than 100,000. So we're starting the second mare off, uh, just uh, dispatching some enemies. Uh, you need, of course, 20 chips, and here's the last three that I need. There's a present just above those rocks, which I'm going to break now and uh, get all the chips inside, and I'm going to go. So as I play this game, I know I'm going to have a good round if I uh, just get into a bit of a zen moment as I'm playing, and that just means that it's just everything's sort of happening, my emotions uh, of the knight's character are very fluid, and as I do loops to collect chips, I uh, even uh, start to pull off um, acrobatics using the L and R uh, shoulder buttons, and that's certainly not necessary. Uh, it's just as well to do uh, just simple loops, but uh, again, like sort of as I'm playing, if I just sort of hit that sweet spot and zen out, then you know I tend to uh, to try to pull those acrobatics off. It just looks cooler. It has no sort of function or bearing on your score. Um, so this second mare, the one thing I always try to be careful is as you're coming up onto the idea palace, you have to sort of angle up. You don't want to accidentally fall into it with lots of time remaining on the clock. You want to maximize your score. Um, not possible to have an infinite link here. And in fact, I'm not having the very best of runs on this particular mare at the moment. Um, but that's okay, we're just going to keep going. Um, sometimes it's actually best when you're playing to ignore, uh, you know, getting every single uh, chip or bell along the way uh, in favor of just maintaining your speed. Uh, because one extra circuit around the uh, game board is always going to give you a massive amount of points. Alright, so I'm going to go in safely with uh, about 4 seconds left, a score of 63,000, that's not too bad. So here's another acrobatic as I pick those chips up. Um, and here we go. Um, it's You only get 17 chips before you hit the Christmas tree or the ID capture, so you have to go a little bit further to get the last three, and then you just double back to get that good score. Um, this is the stunt ribbon. In Christmas Nights, there's a glitch that's been fixed so that you cannot just uh, um, 
abuse the uh, stunt ribbon trick and so it's extremely difficult to get high uh, stunt ribbon scores as it should be. So I do try for them um, and I typically average around 7 uh, per go. Here I've got 10. You need at least 12 in order to get a dreamy and a dreamy gives you uh, 2,000 points and of course that's doubled up. Um, and this particular track has two uh, stunt ribbons in it, uh, both uh, in this mare. Uh, again, not possible to have an infinite link here, but the idea is just to go through the game or through the uh, track and just hit as many links as possible and take advantage of the um, take advantage of the uh, uh, stunt ribbons where you can. So here I was able to pick up nine, uh, which isn't bad. And it is worthwhile to stop uh, and uh, uh, do the stunt ribbons as opposed to just you know ignoring them and, and flying by. Because uh, the amount of points that you can pick up is is uh, significant enough that you do want to stop and uh, try it. So it looks like I've got 23, 22 seconds left. I'm going to collect a few more just because I'm a bit of a daredevil. Uh, in fact, let's see how far I can push this. I do that a lot, though. I, uh, I should double back and be safe because oftentimes I'll think, oh, okay, I can do it, I can push it, and of course I end up falling. So another safe sort of run back 66,000 that's uh, another really you know good score for this mare and now we're going to the very last one uh, this is the only course between both the regular Knights game and Christmas Knights where it is possible to get an infinite link on the fourth mare the fourth mare typically uh, in the regular Knights game has some sort of a gimmick so either Knights turns into you know a sled and he does the bobsled run or you know um, in the splash garden level he does an underwater um, section so there's usually a gimmick in the fourth mare of every particular run now this one actually doesn't have it and maybe that's why it's possible to get an infinite link here um, and sometimes it takes more than once around the board before you've got the required chips to deposit to the idea capture like I just did uh, so I'm gonna do my best to keep an infinite link here but uh, it's it's actually quite tough uh, it's not the easiest uh, uh, section to keep an infinite link. See, and okay, so I just got stopped by an enemy. He didn't hurt me, but he stopped me just enough for me to to lose my link. So I'll pick off the uh, bonus uh, P in there. Uh, the bonus P in collects points based on how many stars in the regular game, or in this case, how many bells you pick up, up to a maximum of 255. And then you get that times 10 if you pick them off. However, you can lose that bonus if you happen to kill any of the uh, peons along the way. Um, so, you know, it's a lot of points, um, and it's sort of an incentive not to kill those little uh, uh, peons along the way. All right, 23 seconds. I'm going to gun it to see if I can do one more uh, loop around the course, rack up some extra points uh, before we head off into the boss battle against. Uh, Gilwing. Um, so here we go, seeing if I could maintain that link. I haven't been able to, and I lost it there. Pro, you know, and we should just sort of hurry and. Okay, <laughs> I looked a little bit uh, close there. But that should be a great overall score, 306,000. So we'll see if, you can, uh, if we can double that up by uh, dispatching Gilwing here. And um, of course, there is the trick of flying underneath his tail and then turning around and looping, and that takes care of all segments of his uh, rather long dragon body, and here we go. So that score of 306,000 will now double up uh, for a grand total of 612,000. So that's actually a record for me. That's the best I've done, well, at least on this particular save file. Um, and uh, yeah, just hope you guys have enjoyed this and sort of got a glimpse into... Uh, how I play and how I do, um, you know, how I how I score attack this this fabulous fabulous game. All right, good night, folks.